Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements 2. This is patch 2.2.2, which I'm calling Side Quest Triage, because this patch is all about fixing up all of the various side quests, even fixed a couple of things in the main quest. In general, went through all of the different bug reports, dug out anything with the word quest in it, and attacked them with a fervor, and now we've got a lot of good fixes here. We've also got some fixes for Workshop Framework, and we will talk about all that in just a moment. First, we got to shout out and thank some patrons who are keeping the lights on around here. You guys are the best, and I'm going to shout out just a few of you today. So if I don't get to you today and you did sign up recently, don't worry, I will get you in an upcoming video. So huge shout out and thanks to Aurelianus, Flash Hendricks, Will Coupland, Tor Odison. Is that Odison? 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 I like Odison better. Sounds better. Sorry if I just changed your last name on you. <laughs> Emma Long and Gingy of Oh, that's... I wanted to say Gingivitis. Gingy Evitis. I think that's right. Thank you all, guys, and thank you everybody who's been contributing in other ways. You guys rock. Now let's get to the patch notes. So first thing, I owe an apology to a lot of folks out there. So we have had lots of reports over the years that Workshop Framework is broken, and a lot of times I just get angry posts about that with, with very little context. Uh, and then occasionally we get the conversation about uh, Workshop Framework messing with food and water production, which I've uh, gone over why that is and what it exactly it's doing based on the code that it does to put in there it's fixing a bug but the actual issue that i was wrong about that people have claimed that i finally got confirmation of and a fix for is recruitment levels a lot of folks have reported that workshop framework seems to cause recruitment speed to be way lower than it is in the vanilla game and i couldn't figure out what they were talking about i didn't see that happening in my own games or at least i didn't think i saw it um, but someone showed me, CBR Gamer, who's been fixing up a lot of our resource code, has uh, shown me the problem. And it was a really dumb problem. Um, I won't go into the technical details, but basically you guys were right. Workshop Framework was messing with recruitment. It was making it much slower in the mid to late game than it should have been. And that has been repaired. And I actually, everybody who watched my live stream on Wednesday saw the uh, improvement as I started getting settlers and settlements that seemed to have stalled out many weeks ago in my playthrough. So my apologies to everybody. Um, I'm, I'm feeling... Feeling good that Workshop Framework is in a good state now. We're not really messing with any of that code anymore. Just uh, just putting in bug fixes as they come. So if you guys have any other issues with Workshop Framework that um, that have fallen on deaf ears today, definitely post those again. Um, specifically, any of you guys who are GitHub users, go post it on the Workshop Framework thing, and uh, I will I will hand it off to others to look at. Since clearly I am blind now and missed something obvious, so maybe some others in the community will be able to uh, help address any remaining issues you guys believe exist in the Workshop Framework code. So again, my sincerest apologies. I I don't like to dismiss people's reports. Um, I just I do the best I can. And uh, I've started to bring in help because I realized that my best isn't good enough. So we've got uh, improvement to workshop framework recruitment code. And I think all of you guys are going to start to see more and more settlers appear, which is pretty a pretty big deal for any of you who are playing through HQ because you guys all know you need tons of people. Just Or as I was putting out in my live stream the other day, you just need bodies uh, at a certain point. So we need to uh, get this recruitment code out there to you guys. So grab the workshop framework update. It's a huge important one. All right, on to the SS2 update. So I spent a lot of time fixing quests over the last month. And what we ended up with is a pretty heavy list of patch notes that I'm not going to go over in detail. I'm going to just point out a few highlights. Uh, and earlier I mentioned uh, CBR Gamer working on the resource code. So in 2.2.1, the resource code was claimed to have been fixed. Turned out was still a little bit broken. That fix seems to work now. We've got a we got a little more improvements on it. So now let's get into some of the patch highlights. Um, a few things I want to talk about with them so that you guys aren't surprised. So the first thing to mention is in the main quest of chapter two. If you've played if you've played through it in the last and maybe four or five months, you may have noticed that uh, after you complete the quest Dark Horizons, that you immediately get the radio signal for the next quest, which doesn't make any sense. And if you had played at launch, you'd probably recall that that never happened. There used to be a delay. Well, the delay has been restored. There will now be a three-day delay. So if you complete Dark Horizons after this patch, don't be alarmed that the next quest doesn't start right away. There's supposed to be a lull in there where you can go 
play other parts of the game, work on your settlements, etc. Uh, and if you listen to what Jake tells you before the end of Dark Horizons, it makes sense. And that's probably what you expected to happen. So that delay has been restored. Uh, and I wanted to bring that up because it was a relatively minor bug, but it will feel like suddenly something's broken when in fact it's just restored to how it was meant to be. Uh, then next, let's talk about the, the CPD. So CPD got probably the most attention this patch. I touched almost every single quest. I played through the quest line several times myself to make sure that we got a lot of these kinks worked out. And we've got things like the Hellhounds not being aggressive resolved. We put in a bunch of catches to try and help out with some of the more complicated quests that involved a lot of NPCs to help for with issues with random NPCs not walking they were, where they were supposed to or maybe being teleported to weird spots. So a lot of polish has been done in that state. Uh, and I think the biggest issue that most of you had with CPD was that the bounty quests were super sketchy. They wouldn't always let you turn them in. Um, that has been resolved. Now, one of the things with the bounty quests is the way that they were set up to appear for you guys to get the next one in the list was a little bit odd. And I wasn't, I wasn't able to necessarily fix it perfectly for existing saves so if you start to, so if you turn in whatever bounty you had from the cpd and you go to do the next one and it doesn't give you a quest that's likely due to i had to basically take the bounty system and re redo the terminal from scratch and unfortunately i wasn't able to account for existing saves it would have been a nightmare to try and figure out what kind of systems setup you guys were in so just know that next time you play through you should have a much better time with the cpd bounties and any of you who have an active bounty quest should now be able to turn it in uh, you can also all expect to suddenly fail lena's gunner bounty that was an objective that was stuck in your pit boys forever uh, i finally set it up so that it would fail it if you sided with simon at a certain point in the quest line you'll know what i'm talking about if you played through it and uh that will now fail out correctly uh and then it if it if you didn't fail it out for example if you uh sided with lena at that particular point then it should just hide the objective when it's no longer eligible to be turned in so that you shouldn't be stuck with that objective on your screen forever which i know is a pet peeve of a lot of you all right now i want to just rattle off a bunch of quests that I had fixes for and that hopefully this will ring a bell for some of you guys so you don't have to necessarily read the patch notes but I would encourage anybody who really uh, likes to have their their game uh, perfected go dig in and see if your issue has been fixed because if not you should post it again so that we can get to the bottom of it so here are the quests that I've touched beyond the CBD so I basically touched every quest in Concord so that would be those with Alyssa Dylan Brannigan uh, Edmund, Caleb, who else am I missing? Uh, Harriet, uh, all of the characters that you met in Concord, I've touched something in their quests for the most part. Um, so you should find little little fixes and stuff in there. I've fixed the quest The Grudge, which is with, I can't think of his name. Uh, I fixed Do Android, uh, Do Android Sheep Dream of Electric Wolves, which is Howard's quest. Um, I fixed some stuff with Thief. Well, actually, I didn't fix it. This was uh, Sagittarius did with some of the AI with Elias and Ruby where they were following you. I think some of you have had it where Ruby was basically following you forever. I believe that's fixed, though it might be one of those fixes that's not retroactive. And I might need to see a save where she's already stuck following you. So uh, keep that in mind, those of you guys who post on the forums. Uh, Just Lucky, I guess, with uh, Lucky Bucky Benton has been had an issue fixed. Looking for Yesterday with Charles Baker. Pure Energy with Archon and Fishing Expedition with Fish Food. So all of those quests have been touched in some way. Hopefully, I have cleared out all of the quest-related bug reports that have been confirmed. If you guys aren't familiar with how we do bug reporting, basically, you go onto the simsettlements.com forums. There's a help section. You post your issue there, and uh, once people have uh, verified, verified that it's a issue with the base mod and that it's easily repeatable, somebody on there on the forums will, will relay it to me on GitHub, and then I take care of it from there. So if you have an issue that isn't resolved in this patch and continues to plague you, please keep posting in the help section. Please uh, post more information. The most helpful thing are steps to reproduce it, mod lists, um, things like that, so that we can actually try and verify that the issue is actually something I can, I can deal with. Because a lot of times if it's a mod conflict, then it ends up in a state where it's going to need some sort of patch, either from the other mod or just like a, a compatibility patch between the two. And so we focus right now on stuff that we can just change something just in SS2 to get it fixed. So those are the bugs we're focused on first. And when we eventually get to that bottomless pit, then we can talk about compatibility patches. All right, guys, I am excited to get this patch into your hands because a lot of long, long overdue fixes, particularly with the CPD, which is why I focus on it so much. All right, now that we're at the end of the patch note video, we can get some merch given 
been out. So if you made it this long, then you know the drill. Basically, I'm going to give you a hashtag and you comment below including that hashtag and some something else too. Give me a give me a story about your time in SS2. Tell me a bug. Tell me uh, something funny that happened to you. Just something more interesting to read than a bunch of hashtags. And uh, I will pick one at random in the next couple of days and uh, message you and let you know that you won the uh, drawing. So uh, please uh, definitely include contact information, either a nexus.com username or uh, your forum username on somesettlements.com, some, somewhere I can contact you. All right, and that hashtag for today is going to be 99 bugs in the code. And for those of you guys who don't know that meme, go look it up, 99 bugs in the code is a funny little grumpy cat picture and uh, it's one of my favorites. So 99 bugs in the code if you want access to some merch. All right guys, take care and enjoy the mods.